So today what I wanted to do was aquascape one of my 20C cubes from Boost Plant for you guys so you guys can see what I do and how you can do it yourself because a lot of the time people don't know the basics of aquascaping and for me I wish someone would have told me like a few things before I started my own tank because there is a lot that you actually need to learn and it's just something you can only learn by experience or some other people telling you so let's get to it. So here's the tank, it's an Ultimate Nature Systems 20C, 2 gallons. I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can get one if you want one too. I have the ONF Flat Nano Light on it already and the sponge filter. So today I'm only going to be doing the hardscape which includes like the rocks and substrate. I don't want to put in plant it because I don't know what plants I want to use. I'll probably just toss in some floating plants at the top just so it can soak up the extra nitrates while it's settling in. So here's the stone I'm gonna be using, it's Siriu stone. It's like a gray rock, grayish blue with white marbling. And I'll set that in for you guys. Um, what I do recommend is putting a layer of substrate under the stone before you settle it in, just because it'll cushion it and keep the stone where you want it to be. Now I'm preparing my aquifer just so I can get a thin layer in, I'm using 88 Amazonia Which you really do need an aqua soil if you're going to do an aquascape because the plants really do need it You can't just grow like all the varieties of plants and sand and whatnot They need the nutrients from the aqua soil. So if you do aquascape get a quality aqua soil there's a lot of different kinds, but There's always the ones that are tuned to your need and liking as well in the soil goes and I'll just spread it around for now. Like that. Even layer. I do have an idea of what I want. I'm kind of going to make um, a rock here, rock here, and kind of have a sand pathway in the middle depending on what you want is what you want to do. But I always just pour the aqua soil in and I can move it around later. One thing about working with algal soil, what I thought was going to happen was once you pour it to a certain place, it'll stay in that place, but that's not true. So my tip to you is imagine little bouncy balls all compacted together. Like if you build them in a slope, they're bound to fall to a certain extent. So algal soil does not stay where you want it to. That's my point. And when you place rocks down, they don't exactly stay in place either. They like to shift around and maybe move because the aqua soil isn't as stable as I thought it'd be. So that's another tip and sand will keep your stuff in place because it is more tightly packed together and it'll just hold everything where you put it. So that's why I like to incorporate some sand into some places that it'll just help keep everything to. I'm gonna add my Siri stone now which you just place in the tank where you want them to go or just randomly depending on your style and you can just keep adjusting them and moving them around until you're comfortable with where you want them. Now that I got the rocks where I want them, I'm just gonna fill in more of the aqua soil because you should have at least around 1.5 to 2 inches of substrate so the plants can actually root inside and it'll be easier to keep them down. Also, I'll be filling in the sand pad, so I'll show you that now.
escape it's pretty simple but with that tank I wanted to go a little more drastic with the plants so I'll have some stem plants in back shorter plants on the rocks and maybe some carpeting plant in the front so it'll look like a pathway that leads to the back I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up now so we can plug in the filter and get it cycling and then I'll add some plants and that will probably be the end of what I'm doing today. I filled up two gallons of RODI water and I will put that in now but I wanted to tell you guys the reason I use RODI water when starting up tanks is there is no mineral in the water. RODI water is just pure water and it'll help the tank cycle better without algae buildup since you're gonna get a lot of nutrients already from the soil and I'm out of breath from holding the water but aqua soil does leach ammonia in the first few weeks I'd say two to three maybe so I like to use just pure water to keep the levels down and everything Now that everything's all wrapped up, I'll probably just plug in the filter and add in the plant. But that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or not. Bye.